Hey there everybody. I just want to make a, another quick video in a little more detail about my 2019 Road King Special. Every time I'm here I get guys asking me questions so maybe I'll just start sending them a link. Because um, there is a lot going on with this bike. A lot that you don't see, a lot that you can see. So. Here's a, a, another more in-depth rundown of what's going on here. This is my 2019 Road King Special. And there's a million pictures on the internet of this, this one. Um, I set it up many different ways. Uh, today I'm riding it naked. Naked and solo. So, up front here we got the native pitbull fat front end and this is uh it's a 180 millimeter wide wheel or tire it matches the back uh the the rim is 18 inches by five and a half front and rear um i gotta tell you the handling on that is far superior than um stock and I, I honestly I don't know why they don't make them stock like that because you get so much more confidence going around a turn you don't feel any like graded bridges or groove pavement you don't feel any of that uh, this is the smoothest bike I've ever ridden and I'm not lying I, I have a lot of other bikes and I've owned a lot in the past and I kind of feel like this uh, front end is a necessary upgrade just like pipes so at any rate the front wheel also has a pair of Lindell bowtie black rotors that's uh, lindell.com check them out unbelievable rotors um, they're racing rotors they're black they're beautiful I've probably got I'm gonna guess, I probably have about 5,000 miles on these rotors, and they're still black. So uh, I, I definitely uh, love that. Um, along with the front end, you know, from Native, we had to do the, the fender and the forks. This was their Rush kit, um, which at the time I did it, it was the only one available. Um, now they have an easy kit where you don't need the forks, I believe. Not 100% sure on that. Uh, moving up, we got Carlini, Gangsta, Apes. I got my, that's my camera mount up there. Um, all LED lighting. Over here we got uh, Lindbergh Magnum Crash Bar. It's uh, one and a half inch thick, and it matches my one and a half inch thick Carlinis. And I do have a sissy bar at home, uh, which is Suicide Choppers, and that's also one and a half inch thick. So it all matches. We also did a 131 stage four kit on this. The first thing I did was the Reinhardt pipes, which, you know, that was when it was stage one. And then we bumped it up to the stage four 131. And then my tuner, Doc, at Doc's Performance in Claremont, Florida, suggested that we uh, put in a TTS 250 cam. So we did that as well with the, the master tune, put it on the dyno, and we're getting 141 horsepower, 150 torque. Um, I love that. And it is so smooth. When when you tune these things properly with a really qualified tuner, Doc is considered one of the best in the country, if not the best. Um, man, you know, I, I see Harley puts out these 131 Screaming Eagles, and they just put a, a map on it, and... The things run so hot, but when it's properly tuned with with different pipes, of course, um, 
my mine is much faster much more powerful and I'm betting it's about 25 degrees cooler so that's that the other thing here is uh, you can see my air cleaner this is the standard black Reinhardt air cleaner made by Arlen Ness but I went ahead and powder coated it black um, typically the the, the word Reinhardt and racing is in chrome and the cutouts over here are in chrome but I blacked it all out so another one of a kind thing there we have the Dominion package on it that's floorboard brake pedal highway peg um, and that highway peg is mounted with zero um, frame or floorboard mounts. I'm not sure what they call them. But these are awesome. So it's not really, it's not even touching my crash bar. And my foot's like that. Or like that. Or up there, you know, I got many different uh, foot options here. Here is my crown jewel. This is a custom tooled leather bib that I drew. I drew the idea. My, my drawing looked more like a cartoon, but um, my leather guy turned my idea into an incredible, I, I can't even explain how nice this is. It's three layers. There's a bottom layer, a, a cobra skin layer in the middle, and my coat of arms which is two lions crowned king lions of course um, holding a Harley badge so that's uh, totally unique I invented it and Harley if you want to use it you have my permission <laughs> okay we also have down here you can see suspension technologies shocks front and rear Here's the other side. Got the 131 in Roman numerals on the derby cover. Um, my seat. My, my seat also has a 131 badge right there in Roman numerals. It's all tied together with kangaroo lace. We got crowns and um, Harley bar and shield tooled in. And of course, here's my King Lion. With his crown. This is a, a CVO seat that we, we recovered and did all this work with. Um, over here, same thing. And the Dominion package is also on the grips and the mirrors. And then there's a lot of little stuff. We got the upgraded uh, speedometer, tachometer, black ignition switch, black Covington's dash, black flush mount caps. I even got black saddle bar, saddlebag openers. And, excuse the junk in here, but we got lined saddlebags as well. Um, when I ride solo, I, I, I have a couple bikes and I wanted to probably ride this solo most of the time now. So I did, I took off the um, four point docking hardware but that is easy enough to put right back on. And then I have another CVO seat that's covered in alligator with a passenger pillion. And um, so I can put that on and then put on the Suicide Chopper Sissy Bar. And I have a Harley Stealth luggage rack. So it's really easy to turn this into touring. Um, and every photo you ever see of this bike sometimes I run it with a 
the classic windshield with black hardware. Sometimes I run it with my um, Road Warrior fairing and I have two different size windshields for that. So this is the, the, the best thing about a Road King is the versatility. You can also put a uh, Batwing fairing on it or a Shark Nose fairing. You can upgrade it and put audio on it. Um, there's there's nothing you can't do with this bike. So, you know, if, if you have a street glide, you're stuck with that fairing unless you want to do a lot of work to take all the wiring out of there and take it off. And it's just not worth it. Same with the, um, you know, the Limiteds, the, the Road Glides, all the touring bikes are the same. Um, but the Road King, it's it's convertible. It's the most versatile bike Harley ever made. And I'll argue with anybody all day about that. So, this is it. The beautiful 131 Road King Special. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And, uh... What else can I make black on this? I, I think uh, maybe the kickstand. So I might have to get the bike up on the lift for for a week or two and powder coat that kickstand. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody.